We continue to follow the latest developments surrounding an issue that's facing some of our small dairy farms here in southeastern Minnesota. As we've reported in the last 10 to 15 years, we know that Minnesota has lost a significant number of dairy farms, roughly 40 percent. And now a conflict of where dairy farmers can take their milk has risen recently that if not resolved by the end of the month, could be disastrous for them. State uh, Representative Dwayne Quam brought the issue to light recently about some of these dairy farmers who had been taking their milk supplies to Ampi, a dairy farmer owned cooperative where farmers take their milk and it is then distributed. To get more into the issue and why this is threatening some of our smaller family farmers, Minnesota Agriculture Commissioner Tom Peterson is joining me from his home in Pine City to go more in depth. You were only recently made aware of this commissioner as well. And so this is a, a new issue for you to be looking into. Tell me uh, how, it, how it's been explained to you and then we'll get into what's being done. Yeah, yeah, you know, thanks. Um, you know, as uh, as I learned about it last week uh, through Representative Quam, uh, contacted the uh, the co-ops and looked at the situation, talked to some of the dairy farmers to try to understand the issue. And really, the issue to me is that you know AMPI has had contracts with uh, Elba and Rockdale for uh, many years, uh, and uh, although they are um, uh, business associates. Uh, with an AMPI markets their milk and takes their milk. Uh, they're not members of their co-op. And with a lot of milk on the marketplace, uh, AMPI you know, does worry, and I think uh, some co-ops do about having to dump milk. And so it really depends on you know, uh, whose milk are you gonna dump? And are you gonna dump your patrons? Are you gonna dump your um, contracted customers with? And so I think those were some of the concerns that came up. And so. Uh, as they look at uh, uh, different business negotiations. I'm hopeful that they can come up with a settlement that'll find home for these 40 or so farmers. Forgive me for not knowing how the farming industry works with this, but AMPI is a farmer-owned cooperative. These are farmers who have been taking their milk to AMPI, um, I don't know for how long, but it's not new. And then all of a sudden to find out that they are dropped because they're not contracted, help me understand uh, why this is even an issue right now. Well, it's really an issue right now because we just are, uh, the nation dairy farmers have become very uh, good at uh, producing milk and we're producing a lot of milk right now. and. You know, to me, um, you know, we're kind of coming out of COVID and uh, so milk, cheese, uh, butter, all these different products are really different as our restaurant industry changes, our school industry changes. And so, you know, keep in mind, AMPI has its own members and its own uh, farmers and its own cooperative uh, as the other uh, cooperatives um, uh, like Elba or Rockdale have their own members. And so um, they just contracted with AMPI and so I think AMPI is trying to uh, figure it out and find ways to do it, but also protect its own uh, patrons. Uh, you know, I think we get concerned because, uh, you know, as you said, our state is down to less than 2,400 dairy farmers and every dairy farmer is important for us to keep. And so we're working to try to find a, a homes and a place for that milk to go. And, and on that point is my next issue that I, I want to talk to you about being that large corporations have taken over so much of the different arms of farming, right? And pushed out small family run farms. That kind of sounds like it might be the case here in that we've got high production of milk throughout the country, as you stated, and then these smaller farmers, uh, have any kind of small issue like something like this that then again threatens them. It just seems um, unfair. You know, it really, it's really uh, been a changing of our, uh, of our dairy uh, system in the state as Minnesota still has a lot of what I would call smaller uh, herd sizes throughout the state, but we do have some bigger dairies, especially in Western Minnesota. Dairy herd sizes have gotten bigger um, uh, dairy farmers themselves have had to be um, unique and had to be uh, 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 nimble and try to uh, be creative on how they produce milk and their farm overheads. And so it has been hard for smaller farmers to compete, but not impossible. And so every farm is different. And, uh, 
uh, the reason people want to milk cows is is different on every farm and so we just need to provide that opportunity i still think that there is a a space for everybody and uh you know we, we continue to try to find that and so whether it's with ampi or another co-op or another um, alternative uh, hopefully we can find a solution to this issue how about for these uh two small farms at issue with just this uh, problem right now. Have you heard um, Representative Quam said that they were looking at uh, some other places to take their milk, like maybe in North Iowa, but the details haven't been worked out. Do you know what is on the table, where they're going to be able to go with their product? You know, I think those are discussions that we're, uh, our staff is still trying to uh, work out and help facilitate, and I think that there are options on the table. Uh, whether it's uh, other Minnesota co-ops or other uh, uh, North, Northern Iowa or Wisconsin, uh, you know, being that these co-ops are down in Southeast Minnesota, they have access to different markets, but a lot of those markets too are also full. And so it may be kind of a mix and match of uh, different ones. We also uh, may unfortunately see uh, some of the uh, farmers choose not to necessarily go out of farming, but go out of dairy farming for the time being and so that's unfortunate but uh, we're we're continuing to look at uh, our options and I also think that AMPI is also looking at options and some of these uh, farmers may end up there yet there as well so I uh, negotiations I think continue all right Com Ag commissioner from Minnesota Tom Peterson I do appreciate your time thank you sir and any developments hopefully there will be resolved very soon I hope so too. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm glad you're getting good rain today. <laughs> Me too. And our farmers are very thankful. Good All right. Thank we'll be, you very much. Thanks. We'll be back. Bye -bye.